into the Polaris 4x4, 400cc. And the uh, first thing I did was take off the recoil. Um, as you can see, the recoil is attached to the motor on this side of the bike, or on the quad. Um, this is what it looks like. That goes right on there. And on the inside, as you can see, we found the culprit. Uh, there's a huge crack in it right here. So every time you would wind up this rope, you'd probably get caught in here and then break. Um, so what we're going to do is order a new uh, recoil for it, and uh, hopefully that works. Um, I know eBay should have them. Uh, but to get this thing off right here, it was a little bit tricky. You had to first take off this chain guard, which is a chain that goes to the front wheels. It's a chain guard that goes all the way along. You had to take that off. It was like this one bolt right here, and uh, that attached right here. So that just slid down. I didn't take it all the way off because why well, take it all the way off when you don't have to? But then I, there was like one, two, three, four, five, I think five bolts that held on this cover right here. Then that would get loose and that came off. Um, it didn't come off fully because the chain was in the way. So what I had to do was take the sprocket off right here with this bolt and uh, that connects right there. So once you got the chain off, you could take the cover off. So that's pretty much the process I went through. Um, we're going to see if this thing cranks over now, I think, and uh, just see if it's worth getting the recoil for or not. I don't know if this thing runs or not. The kid said, or the, the guy I bought it from said it ran, but um, I'm not 100% sure if it ran. I can see like the wires right here by the wheels are disconnected. Um, right here, there's two wires, and then right here, there's two wires. Um, I'm pretty sure that's for four-wheel drive. I'm not positive because there's a button up here that you push to get four-wheel drive. And if those wires are not connected, which I think is the wires right here, um, then obviously the four-wheel drive is not going to work. And I think the wires down here are disconnected as well. Um, they should be right around here. But yeah, it could just be a brake sensor, I don't know. It could just be something else. I'm not 100% sure. I've never worked on these before. But I'm pretty sure those wires need to be connected somewhere. So, yeah. And then we're going to connect these lights up and stuff. And do all that good stuff. But I was going to try to put a battery charger on the battery and see if it cranks over here pretty quick. So, we'll do that next. Stay tuned. All right guys, what's up? Um, from previous video, we got to, I think we got to the recoil, um, and I just had ordered it, and it didn't come in the mail yet. So it finally came, and my camera was dead, so I wasn't able to get the video of it, putting on the recoil, but I got it all together here. I put the chain guard back on. Everything works as it should. I mean, it's got great compression. Um, the only thing that I noticed was that it's missing a uh, piece to protect it from the threads right in there. So I put a piece of cardboard in there for right now, but I'm gonna try to get the correct piece for it so it doesn't fray the rope. I think that's why I kept on breaking. It's because the, the threads kept on fraying the rope and then eventually it would just break. So I might just try to put some of the cardboard in there and uh, maybe take a little super glue right here and glue that cardboard in there so it doesn't come undone. Just because something needs to be in there to protect the, the rope from the threads. Also, I ordered a new, um, what's it called? Ignition switch right here. The old one, I think, is over here somewhere. This is the old recoil spring. Uh, the ignition switch, the old one, is over here. It did not come with a key, and it had been taken off right here um, I cut the wires and everything and then I tested it to see if it worked all the lights work uh, the electric start the starter doesn't really work I think it just clicks so it either needs a new starter or, or uh, a new solenoid I haven't tested the solenoid yet but I know when you start it up or when you push the electric start button when the two red wires are connected it just goes click 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 so it might just be starter or the solenoid. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to invest any more into that when the pull start works just perfectly fine 
and all the lights will work when I have the new switch, which should be out in the mailbox right now. So let's go take a look. I think it's out there, and uh, we can see if the thing is, we can see if the ignition will work. I ordered one off of Amazon, and it was nine bucks, nine dollars and thirty cents. So I figured that was a pretty good investment. Um, also, I guess we could quick start it up here after we get the ignition switch in there. And I did also notice, because I took it for a ride yesterday, it ran really well, idled perfectly and everything, but I don't think the four-wheel drive was working. I don't know if you need um, the battery for the four-wheel drive to work or not. I'm guessing you probably do, since it's operated by wires, which run down to here. And then there's some wires there going down to this, to, to the wheels down here. So I'm thinking maybe it is operated by the four-wheel drive. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that that's probably what it is. So stay tuned, guys. We'll, we'll go to the mailbox, get this. Uh... Actually, we'll go through the garage. We'll get the, get the ignition switch and see what it looks like. It is Sunday today, and the Amazon, it was a two-day shipping, so they deliver on Sunday. Which is pretty dang nice. Oh, it's just not on the ground still. It's about probably like 15 degrees right now. So it's a little chilly. As you can see, the whole driveway is ice. It's like non-stop freezing cold here in Wisconsin. But let's see if uh, the package came. I saw a truck over here a little while ago. Paper? Oh, there it is. I don't steal one. Oh, look at that spider. <sighs> Gross. Uh, I hate spiders. All right, let's go back inside. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Put the old one back over here, and uh, put this recoil spring back over here too. They also got paint for the rack um, because it's pretty crappy, so I'm gonna paint that up today, and then take this one off and paint that up too. Um, also, another update is remember the plastics? How bad they were? They had that. Uh, that black like bed liner on the plastics. Jade and I, we went around and peeled all of it off. So it's back to normal. I just have to get this stuff off. That's where the stickers are. So I'm gonna take a hair dryer and try to peel that off. But it's looking a lot better though. I don't know why people would put bed liner on it. it makes it look really crappy. But anyway, let's set this camera up here. See what we're dealing with. Also guys, make sure you go check out the merch. Um, I'll leave that in the description. I'm doing a bike giveaway pretty soon here. Let's see if this is the correct one. Comes with a nice key. It's really nine bucks, I'll leave the description below in the amps for Amazon. So these are pretty nice. I already have the wire stripped so I can just plug these right in pretty much. What I'm going to do is cut these and then just bind the wires together so these plugs don't have to be exactly correct. Um, mine comes with mine comes with a black and white one, a red and white, a red, and a brown. So one of these is probably won't work but we'll see. And the key. Oh, there's only two switches. So that might not be the best thing in the world. My other one had two switches. So, I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, the other one was going to take 15 days to get here, so I figured I'd just go with this one. 
It's probably not the correct one for it, but at least you'll have the option to go on and off with it. And uh, you have the key too, so that's pretty nice. I guess we'll see if it fits and we'll get back to you guys. Stay tuned. All right, so update on this thing. I replaced the the ignition switch right here and uh, just got the one setting on it. Um, the run button up here works and everything. Um, high and low work. I think the low bulb is blown out, but as you can see when you turn it on, I'll flip the switch right here, light turns on. Um, I'm not positive. Oh yeah, that works. That lights up now. So that works. Um, all these lights down here work. So we're going to test it out, see if the 4x4 works here. Um, the start, I tried the electric start. As you can hear, it just clicks. So that's kind of annoying. I don't know what that would be. But hopefully the 4x4 works now, and it's all good to go. So stay tuned. Should be pretty fun. If it does work, we're going through some crazy big snow, and uh, we'll really test it and put it to the max. So stay tuned. All right, guys, got this beast running and cleaned up, got all the stickers off of it. Uh, four wheel drive works great. I could not get it stuck. I tried multiple times. I went through super deep snow and uh, the front wheels just grab and it works out great. So uh, here it is, all cleaned up. Kind of what it turned into. Do a little walk around here. I put the back rack on. See, so that's pretty much the beast right there. Pretty clean looking now. Should get quite a bit for it. Lights work. Brights. Low ones. Right there. Yeah, that's it. I'll demonstrate the four-wheel drive here quick right now, and uh, see what you guys think. Now Jade's gonna take the other, the other player. So I'm gonna take this one, and we're gonna do a video, and uh, we'll do a GoPro video on it and see how it runs. So stay tuned for that. Switching to GoPro right now. All right, guys. So we got this beast running. We just, uh, I just started it up, started third pull. Now let's uh, take it for a little rip roo See if she runs. There we go, that's reverse. So before we go anywhere too far, put in neutral. This is the uh, 4x4 switch right here. So let's first see if that thing works. Um, I know that tire spins. This one I'm not too positive, but we'll see what happens. Deep snow. Whoa. Oh yeah, no problem. Seems like the four by four is working on it.
Man, right, it's fast. This thing's really fast. Let's see. Yep. Four by four works. What a beast. All right. take her through here. That might be a bad idea though. We'll take her across the road here. See what's happening over here. I don't know if these brakes work too well, so I'm kind of being cautious right now. Yeah, I don't want to go through right here because that's where uh, where the ditch is. I guess we can try her. Wow, that's... Yeah, it's pretty deep snow, holy cow. made her through it though. It's pretty good. Follow these tracks, we should be good. the ice cream shack through here This thing is fun. Such a beast. And guys, this is like a foot of snow, by the way. So it's handling like a champ. That's some deep snow right there. Man, that was a lot of fun.
take a two -wheel, or a four wheel drive and see how fast they go. Pretty fast. Not too bad. Put her in four wheel drive. I don't know if this if you're supposed to have it in neutral when you do that or what, but whatever. My ears are really cold. They are really cold. But we'll wrap up the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that ride. This thing runs pretty nice. I mean, 500 bucks gets you this. Pretty dang good. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. We'll do one more. I will burn out right here. Put me off of it right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, we are out. Banging my head against the wall Of your voice, sick of your face Sick of your choices, sick of your name Sick of your pleasure, sick of your pain